Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is the outdoor power shed for my micro hydro and solar. I've noticed that here in the summertime, it's getting full sun and it's rather warm inside. Let me open this up and show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you my concept for pulling some of the hot air out of this little tiny power shed. I built this in the winter time and the sun was not even close to it. But now that it's summer, the sun is hitting the top of this full force. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in here. And in the middle of the day, it gets rather warm. And there's a couple reasons for that. Here are the electronics that I have. I have micro hydro coming into this classic right here, and then solar coming into this one. So right now I've got, uh, what, 220 watts coming in from hydro and about uh, 200 coming in from solar. Now the solar can do about 3000. I've seen it up to about 2600. And uh, these inverters over here, 137 watts, 170 are feeding the house. So what happens is when the hydro is not needed, it's gonna dissipate power here in the classic and then solar the same way and it just gets hot. So like that's pretty warm to the touch. That one's not as bad, but that one is definitely warm and the fans are running a lot. So the plan is to vent this little area so I'm going to put a small hole over here with some screen and then put one over here as well. And to get the air circulating, I'm going to be using something interesting. And that is a solar panel with a computer fan. And I've also got a switch here. So on the side of the building, I'm going to put some window screen over the hole that I drill. And then uh, hopefully I can put the fan on the other side over there to pull air that way. And since it gets sun all summer long up top, it'll turn on when it needs it. And uh, of course, in the winter time, that won't get sun. And so it won't have to have any airflow. But if I'm quiet, you can hear all those cooling fans trying to run. So definitely have to have some ventilation in this little power shed. This computer fan is designed to run on a maximum of 12 watts. And this solar panel can produce a maximum of 10 watts, which means that even if this is producing uh, top efficiency, this maximum power won't be reached. And so I don't see there's gonna ever be an issue of this having this burnt out. So let's go ahead and show you what it's gonna look like here. So if I position the panel up into the sun, and then I can take my lead here and uh, put the red wire inside of the barrel plug so that it touches hot and then touch black here. I don't know how well that's going to translate on camera here. So I'm going to put that inside, put this mounted outside and we should get some nice ventilation inside of this power shed. I took my fan on the inside and kind of drew out the uh, hole that I want to cut. I'm gonna be using this oscillating tool to cut that out and hopefully it'll be enough airflow on this direction. And I think I'm gonna take uh, the air out here with the fan and so it'll pull air in from the other side. That worked out pretty good. Got those pieces out. Now I can probably just use my knife to get that Tyvek cut out. I was thinking about a gym that I go to to play volleyball and their fan is designed to um, pull air um, out of the building. So I figured that's probably what I should do here. Uh, just put that fan right in that on the inside, of course and that'll just pull air out and it'll be able to suck air in from the other side. There's the fan on the inside and my wires are coming off right here. So let's go ahead and just test this out by placing the panel up here on this in the sun. And then I will connect the wires and you can see the fan spin up right over here. All right, here we go. Nice. I think that's going to work very well to vent this place out. 
a good breeze coming out of there. I'm gonna move slightly over to the side here and drill a hole big enough for that power cord to go into. I have to be careful because once this panel is in the sun, it will be live and could shock me. So make sure I hold this thing out of the way. My idea for keeping this fan up in position is to use a couple of L brackets. And I'm thinking I can spin this one in this direction right here and just kind of screw it in right there. And that'll keep that up there. And then maybe one over here as well. And that'll be sufficient. It won't be able to go anywhere at that point. I mostly just don't want it falling out. And I think that'll do quite well. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit loose in there, but it can't go anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and hook that up. I've got the red and black wires coming out of the solar, and then I've got the red and black wires coming to the fan here, but I also have a switch, and that's just a basic on off. So this is going to break the red wire. And so what I want to do is just use a wire nut here, and I want to combine the, uh, the reds here on this. And then the reds will then carry on to the, uh, the fan. So let me do this real quick here. All right, that'll work. And I also brought some black tape to put around that. There we go. And now the other side of this switch is gonna go to the fan red. And I'm gonna be blocking your view again, so you just have to trust me that I'm getting this attached here. I just flipped the panel around so we can see what happens when I flip this switch right here. Very nice. It's actually pushing a lot of air. Now, some of that's gonna be restricted whenever I put that uh, screen over here, but I like it. That is really doing a good job at pulling air out. Now I could probably get by with just setting this thing up here and it wouldn't blow off, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. So I'm gonna remove the uh, bolts that are on the mount here. And I think I will mount this right about here. I'm just gonna do that straight up and down in the sun there. Okay, the panel is now mounted up here on top of the power shed. As you can see, the cord just scoops down here. Now I may give it a little bit more slack so that any water that gets to the cord will just drip off right there. And then now we can go under here and flip this on. Very nice. So the plan now is to move over here and I will put about the same size hole up in that corner. And that way the airflow will move from there on through here and be pulled out right there, hopefully passing over all of this. And of course, being at the highest point, it will pull out the hottest air. And I think it'll help cool this place off nicely. So you can see right now, the house is using so little power that this has got, uh, what, 20 watts coming in with the potential of 3,000 right there. Um, and the hydro is still pulling most of the power in at 230. And what we got down here, 135 and 28. So the house is not using much right now. I'm back out here the next day where the fan has been running all day long and it is cool air. So that is really nice to know. I've also had this cracked down here because I don't have the other vent open yet. So I've brought out some of this window screen. And I wanted to just place this over here to see if it was gonna reduce the output very much. Yeah, I don't think so. It's still flowing though through there pretty good. So, all right, let's cut some of that. And my thoughts are, I might be able to use a stapler to hold that in place. All right, let's just see how well this is gonna work here with staples. Just put this up here real quick. 
If I don't put screen on here, it's gonna become a wasp nest in here in a hurry. Well, not the best, but it's gonna work. Just use a razor knife here to get the rest of this off. Okay, very good. That should keep the wasp out of there. There might be some reduction, but it's not bad. Just like I did on the back side, I'm gonna put a hole right here. And you've already seen me cut a hole, so I'll just show you what it looks like whenever it's done. So if I move over here, you can see I've got a hole cut out over there with the screen on it. And then over on this side, there is the fan, which is really pushing a lot of air out. So let's go ahead and close this up and we'll see how well it does here. If it has any reduction in flow once the door is closed. Now my door is not 100% airtight, so it'll also let some air in. Now I do realize that I'm going to have to put some kind of little uh, rain shield over here. Um, because this side may have a little bit of rain that gets to that. I'll probably also put a little bit of caulking into the screen to keep any kind of bugs out. Um, and this side over here had that excess metal roofing, which will keep all the rain out of that no problem. So let's close this up and see if we have any issues with reduction. Although I see a big cloud coming over that might get in our way. I didn't hear any noise reduction, so that's good. That's still blowing out plenty of air. We're gonna be just fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'll let you know how the temperature is inside of this over the next uh, couple of months here in the summer. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.